Hi YouTube, welcome to my video. I am Lamar Townsend. I am a psychic, an energy channeler, a tarot reader, and an astrologer. Um, and in this video, I will be doing a, I guess a chat, a quick chat about why you should have, or why you should consider putting plants on your ancestor altars. Um, so stick around for that. Also, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, of course. I really, really appreciate your likes. Thank you for your likes. Um, and also, if you want a personal reading, I do do, I do, um, I am available for personal readings. So if you would like a reading from me, definitely check out my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. The, uh, Things should pop up here somewhere, lamartownsandtarot.com. Um, and yeah, if you would like a reading, check out my website. Also, make sure you follow me on my Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Vimeo, um, Twitch. You know, I think I said that, said that already in all my other platforms. Um, you know, I am also on other platforms as well. So thank you for listening and watching. And, um, yeah, I want to talk about why you should consider putting plants on your altar. Behind me, I have my St. Expedite altar. Um, St. Expedite is a saint. And he's an Armenian saint, I believe, um, associated with Christianity. I think Catholicism specifically. And he's really good for emergency situations. He's really good. You know, he really, really works fast, you know, so... Um, and he's has he's a really good example currently of why um, it's a good idea to put plants on your altar. Um, so I figured, you know, why not, you know, use him as an example. And also, he loves to be shown off anyway. So I was like, you know, out of all my saints and ancestors, you know, probably St. Expedite would be the most uh, camera friendly, you know. Um, so here he is in all his glory, St. Expedite. The reason why I put him on my bookshelf is because St. Expedite is associated with the planet Mercury. And if you know anything about astrology, Mercury rules communication, intellect, the mind. And of course, books are associated with the mind and intellect and printing, um, I guess, can be associated with the mind or intellect. It's kind of also I felt like that was the best place to put the printer. Um, and also printers are quick, they print stuff fast, so, you know, I figure that it's also, you know, a good way to put it there too. I mean, St. Expedite works fast. So, um, that's a good point as well, you know, m make sure that everything you put on your altar makes sense for that deity or for that ancestor. <clears throat> I have a lot of different altars in here and, um, some altars that I'm going to be, some new altars that I'm going to be making soon, one specifically that I'm really excited about that I think I'm going to be making a YouTube journey on, but I don't want to... No. It's my cat. But I don't want to say what deity it is or who I'm working with, but, um, yeah. But, um, I, yeah, just be mindful of, you know, everything you put on your altar and make sure that it just makes sense. So um, let's talk about plants. So I am a huge plant person. Um, I have plants everywhere around my apartment because I love plants a lot. Um, but one of the places you'll specifically find um, plants in my apartment are on the altars in my apartment, basically. So um, as you can see with the St. Expedite altar, I have a lot of different plants going on. This is actually a, um, not a humidifier, what do they call it, an oil, oil, essential oil diffuser that sometimes I'll turn on. Um, let's talk about, first of all, the reason why you would want to put plants on an ancestor altar or an altar in general. Plants, first of all, are living, breathing things, believe it or not. I don't know, you know, they're living and breathing. You know, there's a reason why you have to water them. You have to feed them nutrients. You know, they need the sun. I mean, it's literally all things we need. We need water. We need nutrients. We need the sun, you know. So um, plants are a lot like us, you know. Um, and much like spirit will communicate through humans, you know, through us, through other humans, you know, such as, you know, maybe you'll be having a conversation with someone 
um, and someone will say something and it's like, wow, that sounds like something my grandmother or something I needed to hear in that moment. You know, like, you know, sometimes spirit will speak to you through other people, you know, and just mid conversation. Sometimes they'll speak to you through the pastor or church. Sometimes they'll speak to you through, you know, a, a song on the radio or something like that, or just someone you see on TV. So spirit is always speaking through us. But another way they'll speak through us actually is through plants. And if you put them on, if you put certain plants on um, your spiritual altars, you'll start, you'll start, to, you'll start to notice that. Um, that your plants will start to communicate things to you. You know, another thing is that because plants are living, breathing things, you know, um, for a lot of people, certain deities or spiritual entities or, you know, ancestors that you work with, they were once living and breathing, breathing, you know, people too, as well, or once roamed earth, or, you know, maybe they didn't, but at the same time, you know, if they did or if they didn't, they will appreciate this plant, this living, breathing thing. They will appreciate you taking care of this plant. Um, and it's 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 just a way of communication for your ancestors and, and your spiritual guides. Um, another thing is because this is a living, breathing, breathing thing. Um, when you put this on your spiritual... When you put this on your spiritual... Um, when you put this on your spiritual altars, um, you'll notice that your plant may do some weird things. Remember, they're living, breathing things. So, for example, spiritual energy can be intense sometimes. It can be dark. Sometimes you may have to deal with some heavy energies, especially if you're doing spiritual work and lighting candles. You know, you may have to deal with spiritual attacks, you know, and stuff like that. Your plant will actually take an attack for you or your plant will, you know, take blowback for you, or you'll notice, you know, that maybe there's certain parts of your plant dying, you know, especially if you've been doing a lot of spiritual work, that can be an effect of the spiritual work you, you've been doing, you know, you know, because often as things die, new things grow. So, you know, that's kind of another way that, you know, another reason to put a plant on your ancestor altar is you kind of, you kind of want something on your ancestor altar to be able to mitigate atta mitigate attacks and mitigate negative energies and transmute that energy. That's why you put plants on your ancestor altars. That's why you put crystals on your ancestors al altars. That's why you put, um, that's why you put memorabilia on your ancestor altar, you know, um, Fonzie. No. No. That's why you put um, crystals on your ancestor altar. That's why you put plants on your ancestor altar. Because these things are able, you know, they have a certain vibration and energy to them. All plants have a vibration and, and energy to them. Remember, remember I said everything you put on your ancestor altar, you want it to make sense. So this, this for example, is a Saint Severia. Saint Severia is called the snake plant. It's very hardy. It's very sturdy. It can withstand a lot. As you can see, this plant has gone through a lot. It's definitely had its ups and downs, you know, but I put it on my St. Expediti altar and it's really been thriving, actually. You can see a lot of new growth there. You know, this has been since I put it on my St. Expediti altar. So um, this is a really good plant for protection, you know, so I don't necessarily use um, St. Expediti for protection all the time. But, you know, because I do work with him a lot, I figured, you know, this would be a good plant to keep on there. And it's definitely, like I said, it's definitely, you know been through some tough times another one that i have <clears throat> that's been on his altar for a while is this bamboo plant bamboo is good for good luck bamboo is good for um also longevity uh bamboo is good for money too but if you look and i try to keep this as watered as possible it's watered now but look at this like, even though I water it, it's still, you know, you're still going to see weird things like this happen with your plants because it's spiritual energy and plants are living, breathing things, me meaning that they're going to be affected by spiritual energy, good or bad. All right. So just, you know, don't be alarmed. But you see, as new things die, as old things die, new things grow. Look at that new growth right there. Look at that new shoot growing. So, like, you know, if you see weird things, just, just you know, just dye it back. Sometimes you may have to buy a whole new, whole new plant. 
especially if you're dealing with a lot of spiritual energy once again. Um, but these are the reasons why you want to put plants on your altar and specific plants too. So um, another one I have here is my... money tree plant now i do work with saint expediti a lot when it comes to money because he he works really fast and he's really good with money typically so if you ever need money in a pinch saint expediti is your guy he's your go-to he really likes pound cake and things of that nature but this is a money plant this is really good this is growing really really well money plants is one of those plants where you will see a lot of dying back um, but then you'll see new growth. So um, you just want to make sure you take care of your plants too on, on the altar. I mean, you don't want to, you, you can't expect the ancestors or the spirit guides to do all the work when it comes to taking care of your plant. But you will see some amazing things with, with, with your plants. Speaking of amazing things, let me show you this last one I have. So this rose. <clears throat> I'm not lying to you, this rose has been on my St. Expediti altar for maybe now two or three months. This this is a real rose, fresh rose. Um, I recently changed the water maybe like a week ago. You can see the stem here is dying. It's, it's brown, it's like, it's dead, but there's still some life to it because of that green there. This rose is literally two or three months old, but look how beautiful it still is. Isn't that amazing? And these these are some amazing things you'll see when you put plants on your, your ancestor altars and spirit guide altars. You will literally see your spirit guides and ancestors keep your plants alive for months, years at a time. I'm telling you, every time I look at this rose, I'm so amazed at it. I'm like, you're still alive? Wow. It's been months. I don't even remember when I got this rose. Let's see, it's pink. So I'm thinking maybe it had to be back either around November or before November. And it's now February. November, December, January, February. It's like three months I've had this rose. It's crazy. So crazy. But these are some reasons why you'll want to put... Um, and like I said, you can see he appreciates it because he keeps the rose alive, you know? Um, and that's one thing you'll see too. That's one that's one sign that your in your ancestors or your spirit guides or deities are happy with you or that they have a good connection with you. Because once again, plants can also be a good way to bond with your spirit guides or create a connection because through the plant you're bonding with your spirit guides and ancestors, right? Um, but you know, they'll show you they're happy with you by keeping the plant alive and, and having it grow and grow and grow or just have some amazing things happen with it. So I definitely advise you to, to consider putting plants on your ancestor altars. Thank you for listening and watching. Once again, I am Lamar Townsend Tarot. I am a psychic and energy channeler, a tarot reader, and an astrologer. All right. And I also do candles as well. So if you would like candles, definitely check out my website, LamarTownsendTarot.com. Thank you, St. Expediti, for everything you've done for me lately and everything you will continue to do for me in the future. Thank you for listening and watching. I will see you in the next video. Love and light, God bless and no stress. And comment below, what are your tips and tricks when it comes to your altars? Maybe you work with Sick Expediti as well. What are some stories you have about him? I'll see you in the next video, okay? Love and light, God bless and no stress.